So let's say you found a vehicle that you like and it passes the used car inspection. Now what? Well, the first thing on your mind is probably the price. There are two types of prices you should know. Wholesale versus retail. The wholesale value is what a dealer will buy cars for and the retail value is what they'll sell it for. The price depends on who you buy your vehicle from. Buying a vehicle at auction is generally the cheapest but most risky as you can't check the vehicle thoroughly before you buy. Buying privately will cost you somewhere between retail and wholesale but it will yield a potential chunk of savings. A used car dealer will generally sell their cars just below retail price mostly because their vehicles aren't always the best of shape or have low mileage. Finally a new car dealer selling used cars will usually have the highest price because they generally keep the best lease returns for resale. They also make more money off of a used car than a new car. Check the ownership of the car to make sure the information matches the vehicle. Also check that the seller is a registered owner of the car. Selling a car not in your own name is called curbsiding and you should run far away from these sales. Make sure it's not branded and doesn't have a salvage, rebuilt or flooded title. This means that the car was in a major accident and the insurance declared it a total loss. Purchase a used vehicle information report or UVIP. A UVIP will tell you basic information about the car such as the make, model and the VIN. It will also tell you how many past owners the car has had. If it's changed hand many times, it could be a lemon. The report will also give you an insight onto the odometer history. The UVIP will tell you if there's any liens registered on the car. Buying a car with a lien means that you'll be responsible for somebody else's debt. The wholesale and retail value is also given to give you an idea of what you should be paying for the car as well as how much you'll be paying taxes upon. Never trust a Carpoof or Carfax report to solely determine if the vehicle is in an accident. A lot of accidents don't get reported and the car is often taken to a body shop to be cheaply repaired as a quick cash job. Therefore it's really important to inspect the vehicle thoroughly. Use the Carpoof report to determine the extent of the damage, when it occurred, as well as to verify the odometer readings. Be aware of falsified car proof reports common with shady used car dealers that try to pass off the car as clean. If in doubt, buy your own report as accident history could be used as a negotiating tool when discussing price. It's always good to see records that a vehicle was maintained regularly. This tells you that the owner cared for the car and wanted to resell it at some point. A lack of maintenance could cause major powertrain problems down the road. If the vehicle looks beat up and the engine bay is dirty, it tells you the type of owner that had it before. In general, smaller cheap economy cars are less cared for than more premium vehicles. Make sure major services are carried out like a timing belt job because that could cost you upwards of $1000 at a dealership. Insurance should be a huge factor in what car you buy. Get a quote before settling on a particular make or model. For example, Smaller cars have a higher bodily injury in a collision and thus a higher collision rate, therefore offsetting any fuel savings. In general, insurance is higher for two-door, fast, and sporty vehicles, as well as young males under the age of 25. Insurance is also determined by the theft and collision rate of the vehicle, as well as where you live. Now comes the hard part, negotiation. Set your price and stick to it. Be prepared to walk away if the seller is unwilling to budge. Bring a cash down payment as many sellers like to see cash because it means you're a serious buyer and be willing to negotiate. In general, start at an asking price about 10% less than the listing price. Timing is also a key factor in negotiation. A dealer will be more willing to budge near the end of the month or the end of the year in order to meet sales quotas. Never skip the test drive. Dealers will always try to BS you as much as they can, making up stories to talk you all out of it. Ignore all of that and stick to the negotiation. Be wary of used car warranties. A lot of times a third party warranty company doesn't exist or it has hidden activation fees. The warranty doesn't cover things that would normally break in a car, such as a head gasket or a clutch. The terms are often limited with a deductible. What's 500 bucks going to do to you when you're stuck with a $3,000 engine rebuild? Used car dealers get kickbacks for selling warranty. The best type of warranty is an extended warranty from the manufacturer, though that can get pretty expensive. Look out for fees! Besides the 13% sales tax in Ontario, 
the final price must be advertised. Refuse to pay dealer fees, PDI, shipping, dealer surcharges, and an extra for accessories like floor mats which should be included anyways. Dealers will often use the I have overhead costs and expenses excuse because they aren't willing to negotiate on price. Pretend like you're not in love with the car no matter how excited you are. Dealers will see this and use your emotional attachment as a negotiating tool against you. Trading in your vehicle is not usually worth it as you can get more money for it if you sell it privately, unless if it's a lemon and you really want to get rid of it quickly. Tell the dealer you want to finance the vehicle and finalize your purchase price based on that before mentioning your trade-in or your intent to pay with cash. Otherwise, a dealer will try to tack on an extra on the used car to make it seem like you're getting a good deal on your trade-in. Dealers get kickbacks from banks for selling a finance plan. Some accessories such as a GPS, detailing, window tint, and rust proofing can be purchased for cheaper elsewhere. Ask the dealers to toss them in as freebies as part of the negotiation. Once the sale is finalized, the car will need to pass an emissions test and a safety test. The safety standard certificate is issued by a qualified personnel who inspects your vehicle to make sure its safety equipment is safe for road use, such as brakes, wipers, and lights. It is not a mechanical inspection. Finally, once the paperwork is out of the way, you can hand over the keys and drive home your new used vehicle.